Hey, in this today's video, you will learn how to draw PFT process flow diagram. In the previous video, you have seen that how to draw a block diagram by selecting the square from the pointer tool. And you were just dragging it here on the screen. That's how you were drawing the uh, BFT block flow diagram. But today we will use some instruments, some equipment from the engineering section and we have selected all these. We will consider a simple flow in which we will have some kind of vessel that will be connected via pipeline and pipeline will be controlled by Else. You can just copy and paste all the vessels. And you can select all at once and just color it if you want to color it and you can change the color of line. You can also change the thickness of line. You can also change the size of the vessels. This is a very simple diagram to, to initiate how to draw a process flow diagram. We have vessels. We will have a pipeline and then we will include valves as well. Now from the pointer tool I will just connect these valves via line. To get greater extent of accuracy in maintaining the lines, you can zoom screen. Now I will select both the lines and I will just change the color and the weight. And I, to show the direction of flow, I will also add arrow. Now I will include valves. There are so many different types of valves. Mostly glow valve is used and gate valve also can be used. And I will simply just copy and paste that valve here. Just move it down. Now I will select both the valves. Change the color. And if you want to fill the valve, you can also change the color of the valve. If you don't want to fill, you can choose no fill. This is simple flow diagram that is having a pipeline and the pipeline glues valves. So if you see here, there are different kinds of valves. You can also include check valve, gate valve, just selecting and dragging it here. Simply. You can also use different types of pipelines. Moreover, we also have some kinds of instruments. If you want to include some kind of indicator. You can also place some kind of indicator here. Here also. And 
I will just zoom it out. Draw a line. Now from trying to do I will just change the color. Now the diagram also includes some indicators like if the valve is maintaining the pressure the indicator will indicate the pressure and the, uh, uh, the outlet pressure of the vessel will be indicated by this indicator so that the valve will manage it moreover we also have some kind of heat exchangers if we want to include a boiler in between and like if water goes from the boiler to the vessel there we can also include this thing but we will discuss it later we will uh, move step by step and we will also include some complex diagram as well in the coming videos till now it is it is enough to learn how to initiate process for that. Thank you.